So you want to play a comp despite having countless nerfs, it's still one of the strongest comp to play, a comp with high DPS output and a really beefy frontline. Well look no further, because I, Exterior is here to tell you the Kaisa Bruiser comp guide. In this guide, we will cover the best items, best early game, best augments. Before we jump into it, let's talk about the stats of this comp. This comp's play rate is about 0.77, meaning that one out of every two games, this comp will be played. If you do play this comp, it has a chance to be top 5 or higher, with about a 53% top 4 rate, or to win with this comp, it's about 15% win rate. Alright, now we're gonna jump into the items, and the main units you want items on is Kai'Sa. Her best in slot items, and this first item is very mandatory, is Last Whisper. If you don't have a Last Whisper on Kai'Sa, she won't dish out the most amount of damage possible, but there are alternative items that you can build, which I'll explain after. The other second best in slot item for Kai'Sa would be Infinity Edge. This item gives her amplification, so she does more damage. Another item you would want for her to keep casting a lot would be Spear Soldier. This item isn't too mandatory to have. You can have other alternative items, such as Giant Slayer. If you can't build a Last Whisper, Giant Slayer is okay. Or if you can't build IE or Spear Soldier, Giant Slayer will be fine. It's one of her highest win rate items. Another alternative item you can build would be Death Blade. This item just gives her flat amount of damage, so she can dish out enough DPS for the board. Another alternative of item that you can also build if you can't build any of these would be Hodge. Hodge is okay in scenarios where you just can't build any damage items. The best or an artifact to build on Kai'Sa would be Sniper's Focus. Sniper's Focus is a very powerful one because it gives her plus one range and extra damage from hitting far target units. Another one if you want to make her cast infinite would be Malazane. She will cast her ability twice very very quickly so she can dish out a lot of DPS. And her highest win rate or an artifact item hands down is Collector. This item gives you crit, damage, execution, and gold. So it has almost every Every resource you will need to hit fast 9. Alright, that is it for the backline DPS items. Now we're going to talk about the frontline tank items, and the main tank you want to use for this comp would be Galio. Galio is a very powerful tank where he can give armor and magic resist for your whole board and shields after he explodes. His best in slot item would be as much gargoyles don't play as you can, 2 would be ideal. And with all those resistances, you kind of need some healing, so redemption would be his best healing item. There are different alternative items you can build for Galio so he can last a little bit longer in fights, so Kai'Sa can dish out the max amount of DPS as she can. And the best alternative item you can build would be Warmongs. Warmongs gives him just extra HP, so you can take a bit longer. Another good alternative tank item would be Declaw. Even if you go against AD units, this items still help against that because it gives them health and health regen. And another good tank item for Galio, if you have an extra rod and a chain vest, you could just make a crown guard. Crown guard is very good on tanks in general because most tanks are AP and Galio is also AP as well, so it scales with visibility. And one of the best Orn artifact items to use on Galio would be Eternal Winter because his ability taunts every unit that hits him will stun. And hands down, the best Orn artifact tank item, and it also works on Galio really well, would be Diamond Hands. Diamond Hands is a very good item that helps you stall your board, so your DPS can do extra damage. Moving over to the best units you want to use for this comp almost 95% of the time. With Kai'Sa, you would always want to play it with Zaya because Zaya is a legendary unit, and she's a very strong one as well, with her synergy being a trick shot with Kai'Sa as well. If you have like an extra Ink Shadow 80 item, you could throw it on Zaya because most of the time, you can't really play three Ink Shadows with Kai'Sa at level 8, so therefore, the AD Ink Shadow item that you will get, you throw it on Zaya. And in the Merlecon, you might build later down the line for Teemo, you could throw it on Zaya as well. And in the main tanks, you would want to play like 90% of the time would be Galio with Silas because they're both bruisers and they're both really strong units in general. And a unit that's an ink shadow of Kai'Sa would be Udyr. Udyr is the best standalone tank unit in the game. You don't even have to have Behemoth. He'll still just do his thing and just destroy everything. In order to play Kai'Sa, you need a strong early game. And the best early game board to play would be this board with Sivir being the main carry and you slam either IE or Last Whisper on her. And since Sivir is a trick shot as well, you can throw it with Teemo with Merlecon, which is a very powerful early game unit. And since Sivir is a story weaver, you can play it with Garen as your main tank. So you put the Galio items on Garen. And then the other story weaver tank you want to use would be like Riven and use her anyways in the late game. If you do want to slam items on Riven, a Thieves Gloves would be good or like Sunfire or something so you can tempo into the mid to late game easier. And then you just put in a plus one tank like Kuboko or Aatrox for Boozer with Riven. Or you can throw in like Jax or Alawi to throw in Warden with Garen. Most of the time, we cannot make that ideal early game Story Weaver board. So, what we can do is we can make either having a Sivir main DPS with Teemo on the side for Trick Shot, or we can do Caitlyn as the main DPS with the side of Kogma for Snipers. And then for the main tanks, you can just have either Malphite and Choka for Behemoth. If not, you can do Rek'Sai and Kuboko for Bruisers, or you could just do Garen and Jax for Warden. So, as you can see here, it's just basic front to 
back line starting so you don't lose as much HP after when you hit level 8 to roll down. And by the time you do hit level 8, your board will look something like this, where you have 4 Bruiser, 3 Story Weaver, and 4 Trick Shot. So like we talked about earlier, you use Kai'Sa, Galio, and Silas, which is the main units you want to keep almost like 90% of the time. And then you throw in a Sivir, Bard, and Teemo for the Trick Shots. And then you throw in Riven and Aatrox for the 2 extra Bruisers for 4 Bruiser. And then Galio, Riven, and Sivir also make KO for Story Weaver. And for KO, you want to put attack speed like always. And this is for like the level 8 rolldown if you can't hit the 2 legendaries, which is like something like this, where you trade out the Bard for the Zaya and you throw in a plus 1 Udyr. This would be like the most basic cap board you can have for this comp. But though there is even like a higher version of this comp, which would be something like this. You drop 2 Bruisers and keep Galio and Silas. And you drop 2 Trick Shots, but keep Kai'Sa and Zaya. And you throw in Udyr because he's a really strong unit in general. And he's also an Ink Shadow if you need it. You throw in Orn for Behemoth of Udyr. And because Orn is a Dryad, you throw in Azir. So it gives them extra damage to the board. And because Azir is Invoker, you could throw in a Janna. And Janna is also a Dragon Lord with Zaya, so it can give her that buff. And you can choose between one of these two. If you need the Ink Shadow item, you can throw in Volibear. But if you don't need the Ink Shadow item at all, you can throw in a Lee Sin or like an Aurelia or something. Or even like a Lissandra. Like just plus one unit. And the main augments you want to use for this comp would be Lucky Ricochet. This augment allows your Trick Shots to have plus one bounce, so you have extra DPS on the board. And this is like an almost mandatory must take. Another augment that's very powerful for Kai'Sa that gives her a high win rate would be Little Buddies. It gives her more attack speed and it gives her more HP on the board. Another strong augment for Kai'Sa would be Inspiring Epitaph. This augment gives you extra stats for attack speed and shields. And if you get a Prismatic one, Shopping Spree would be the best because it gives you plus one gold and you get free rerolls up to 30 times when you hit level 8. Now to get more in depth, what augments you want to take for first, second, and third? We're going to start with first augment, Silver. Literally, you could take anything you want that you feel comfortable with, but I prefer Stationary Support because it gives you extra stats for later in the game. If not, Vanities is a good one for tempoing, so you can keep win streaking with it. For the gold augments, 100% always take Lucky Ricochet. This augment is very powerful because it makes your trick shots do more damage. Another good one would be Too Healthy. This has a pretty high win rate because you play three two cost champions anyways. So it gives you plus like 180 HP or something like that. If you don't take that, you could take more like tempo or level augments such as Epoch. This one gives you six free rerolls and extra XP. Or Slammin where it gives you extra XP or raining gold so you can get Econ so you can hit level 8 faster. For the Prismatic augments, Shopping Spree is a very good one for Kai'Sa because you get plus one gold every turn and you get 30 free rerolls when you hit level 8. This allows you to hit 2 star everything on the board. Trash to Treasure is also another good one because every Orn artifact is very good for this board since you play AP and AD units and tank. If you're feeling lucky, you can do Starter Kit. It has a pretty decent win rate for Kai'Sa because you have a 1 out of 4 chance to hit one of the units you need, which is either Kai'Sa, Silas, or Galio. Alright, now we're going to move on to the second augments, and the best silver augments to take for the second one would be Young, Wild, and Free. This augments allows you to come out and pick up the units that you would need or items you need instantly. If not, you could just do Band of Thieves for tempo, or you could do stat augments such as Best Friend and Unified Resistance. And then for the gold augments, is always pick up Lucky Ricochet if you don't have it yet. Little Buddies is a very good one, because when you hit level 8, you throw out the Kai'Sa, it gives her bonus stats. If not, Too Healthy is fine as well, because it's a pretty high win rate. Or if you need an Orn Artifact item, Potable Forge is very good for that. If you need high stats, Inspiring Epitaph is a very good one for Kai'Sa. And then for the Prismatic, anything would work, but I just prefer having New Recruit, because you get plus 1 units, and you get a Champion Duplicator, so you can level 2 stuff. Or you can get Overwhelming Force, you get more 80 items that you can throw on Kai'Sa or Zaya later down the line. Or Tiny But Deadly, it's a very good stat augment, so you get extra damage on the board. Or you can get support items like Stationary Support and Accomplice. Finally, we're on a third augment choice, and then for Silver, anything would work, like stat-wise or literally anything that you see here, it doesn't really matter. And then for Gold, kind of the same thing, all four of them are kind of the same besides Martyr. Martyr is a very good one because you get extra HP on your board, so Kai'Sa doesn't die as fast. And then for Prismatic, it's almost the same you can have the support items as well or if you're feeling lucky call the chaos for extra resources or final ascension for extra damage and that is it for my guide if you have any questions you can say it in the comments down below or if you want a live response you can just come to my twitch until then i'll see you guys next time later